Welcome back here at 622. Imagine getting a call from a loved one, terrified, desperate, begging for help. But what if that voice wasn't real? Scammers have found a new way to use AI to steal your money. Jennifer Krause is here now to tell us how. Hey, Jen, sounds scary. It really is. I mean, police have shared with me how grandparents are getting phone calls from someone who sounds like their grandchild. And usually the grandchild says they need help and money. But it turns out it's not the grandchild. It's a scammer using powerful new AI voice to cloning technology that can actually steal a voice or mimic the way someone sounds. And they're using this technology in some pretty convincing scams. Deepfake technology is getting more and more convincing every day. And Ben Coleman, the head of a deepfake detection company, says it's the number one digital risk people should be worried about. Over the last few years, there's been an explosion of calls claiming that we have your daughter. She's in trouble, send money or else. Well, what's happened more recently is the call comes in and says, we are your daughter. Hi, I'm your daughter. I'm in trouble send money right now. So what exactly is a deep fake and how does it work? A deep fake is uh, taking anyone's likeness, whether it's their face, a single image from uh, LinkedIn or online, or a few seconds of audio uh, and using a pre-trained model, replicating their likeness to make them say or do anything you want. These deep fakes are so advanced, it's even hard for experts to tell the difference. What's worse, there are no federal laws to stop anyone from cloning your voice without your permission. And some reports reviewed six popular voice cloning apps and uncovered a troubling trend. So four of the six apps had no meaningful way to ensure that the user had the original speaker's consent to voice clone them. And the two other apps were better, had more safeguards, but we found ways around them. While it's practically impossible to erase your digital footprint, Consumer Report says there are steps you can take to protect yourself. So the first thing is just knowing that deep fake scams like this exist. The second thing is using two-factor authentication on all of your financial accounts. That means having an extra security feature on your smartphone device that requires you to input a security code or respond to an email when trying to gain access to your bank accounts. And then the third thing is just being wary of calls, any type of texts or any type of emails that are asking you for your personal financial information or just personal data. And finally, do a gut check. Does what you're hearing or seeing really make sense? By default, you should not believe anything you see online. You should always kind of follow just standard common sense. Good advice there, as scammers have even used this technology to clone the voices of celebrities like Tom Hanks and even Dolly Parton, uh, trying to convince people that these folks were endorsing what turned out to be investment scams. So before you send any money, make sure that you think, is this something that really that, you know, Tom Hanks or Dolly would endorse? And in the case of grandparents, Rebecca, make sure that you verify that it is, in fact, your grandchild before you send money.